Emerson, thank you so much for joining us. Anytime. And now let's shift our focus over to the Georgia Tech beat. We got Coley Harvey here. Paul Johnson said he won turnovers. That's what he got with six of them. How good was that defense out there on Saturday? Oh, the defense was very good, Damon. Uh, you know, you had the six turnovers, like you said. You had four interceptions by the Yellow Jackets, including Julian Burnett, making making native Julian Burnett, who had an interception himself with the Yellow Jackets in basically in goal line territory. They had to defend there and, and prevent a touchdown, and they did. Uh, but it was just one of those afternoons where Dwight Dasher, the quarterback there at Middle Tennessee State, just could not get going. Uh, you know, in fact, if, if you'll recall, apparently he said some things that didn't really like, uh, that, that the Yellow Jackets defense didn't really like going into the week. He basically said that he thought that he was a better quarterback than Joshua Nesbitt, and that Joshua Nesbitt knew that. He said that Nesbitt was all hype, and he was definitely a, a legitimate quarterback. The Yellow Jackets defense took that, uh, took a chip on its shoulder when it heard that, and they definitely played fast, quick, and uh, made some big plays, and Paul Johnson needs that team to continue to do that as well. Might uh, be regretting those words about right now, right? He's yeah, a little bit sore from the yeah. game on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the offense also looking good. Another 300-plus yard rushing day. Do you feel like the offense is starting to get in sync a little bit? I think so. I think the offense is finally getting into that rhythm. Anthony Allen had a decent day. He only rushed for about 77 yards, which isn't much, but he only had eight carries. So, you know, still a pretty good afternoon for Anthony Allen. He scored two times. Joshua Nesbitt, another 100-yard rushing performance. And, in fact, because of his 106-yard uh, total last week, he's just now 44 yards away from becoming the most prolific quarterback, running quarterback in ACC history. In fact, if he does it this weekend, if he rushes for 44 yards, he will surpass Clemson's uh, Woody Dantzler, Woodrow Dantzler, who has that, uh, that record right now. So, of course, that would be definitely very fitting for him to do that this weekend. But, again, like we said about the offense, they are finally starting to run on all cylinders uh, from the run game standpoint. The pass game is still a little hit or, hit or miss. You have a few drops. You had a, a couple of routes that were just cut off last week a couple of times. But at this point, yeah, they're, they're looking about as good as they've been all year. They've got to keep it going. Yeah, definitely a tough game against Clemson this weekend. Goalie Harvey, appreciate it once again for joining us in the studio. All right, thanks very much. All right, well, that's all we have once again for this Fox Focus. Let's turn things back over to Adam and Portia. Oh, thank you.